Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. We bless thank you for the blood this morning. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We thank you that our names were called this morning. We thank you for the awakening. Hallelujah, that comes by the name and the power of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your keeping and your staying power. <laughs> Glory to God. We thank you, God, that it is not about us. It is all about you. We thank you, God, that there is none like you. There's nobody like you, Lord. We thank you for the greater one is in us, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that we can seek your face early in the morning. Hallelujah. And we will be found. You will be found, God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you will find us calling the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus, the strong name of Jesus. We thank you for Jesus this morning. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. There is nobody like you, Lord. Hallelujah. We did search. I don't know about searching all over, but we did search. We did search. We, we searched in men and men searched in women and women searched in men and some men searched in other men and some women searched in other women. Hallelujah. But we didn't find you there, God. Hallelujah, God. We thought it was in our jobs. We thought it was in our money. We thought it was in our cars and our houses. Oh God. Hallelujah, God. <coughs> but there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the King. Glory to our Father, God. Hallelujah, God, who sits high and looks low. Hallelujah, who rules and reigns. Hallelujah, over my life, oh God. Oh God, oh God, I trust you. I trust you this morning, God. Let someone trust you like they've never trusted you before. Glory to your name, oh God. Let someone call upon your name like they've never called upon you before, oh God. Thank you for the power of your no other name given. Hallelujah, why men, where men can be saved. No other name, no other name, not our mama's name, not Buddha's name, not Harry, Harry Krishna's name, not Muslim's name, not, not hallelujah, Muhammad's name. God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah, we thank you. It is that name that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord, that God is the Father of Jesus. Hallelujah, that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. And the spirit of God and these three are one. God, we thank you. We thank you that there is no one like you, Lord. We thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. God, we thank you. We thank you that we can see you in the breath that we breathe this morning, in the eyes that we see through, oh God, in the voice that we have, oh God, in the mind that we have, oh God. Lord, I speak Hallelujah to every mind that is confused today, that woke up not knowing what to do or how to handle that situation, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, I declare the mind of Christ, the heart of God. Bless your name this morning, Jesus. God, I declare, God, hallelujah, God, minds that think upon things that are holy, things that are true, and things that are from above. Oh God, we need you this morning. Hallelujah, God. Somebody, somebody needs to make a decision decision. Somebody needs an answer. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God. You show up in the nick of time. Hallelujah. Your answer and your way is always perfect. We thank you this morning, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Your way is always perfect. Hallelujah, God. I lift up Mark to you. I lift up Donna to you. I lift up Michael to you. I lift up Beth to you. I lift up Dorothea to you. I lift up Martha take to you. Hallelujah. Jordan Michael Goffa. Hallelujah, God. Guard is Tate. Hallelujah. I lift up Carson to you, God. Glory to your name, oh God. Oh God, I lift them up to you, God. I lift up everybody who's sick in their body. Hallelujah. There is a promise over them. There is a promise over them. Hallelujah. The Lord God rebuke every work of the devil, every work of the enemy. Glory to your name, oh God. You shall come through 
for him. You shall come through for him. Oh God, let him say not my will, but your will be done. Oh, that's a scary prayer because we don't always know what your will is. Oh God. Oh God, it might not be what we want, but it will be your will. And because it's your will, oh God, I pray that they receive your peace today. I pray that someone receives your peace today. Hallelujah, God. I pray for that financial blessing, that financial breakthrough, that healing blessing. Hallelujah, that re that restoration of a relationship and reconciliation of a relationship, oh God. Oh God, let our relationship with you be solid this morning. Let our relationship with you be solid this morning. God, we have a promise. We have a promise that you'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. We have a promise that healing is the children's bread. We have a promise that by your stripes we are healed. We have a promise, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the promises of God this morning. Thank you for the promises of God this morning. Above all, I wish that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. That is his desire. Hallelujah that you prosper in health, that you prosper in your soul, that you prosper in life. Thank you for your promise this morning. Thank you for your promise this morning. Thank you that the blessings of the Lord, hallelujah, are added to us, but they bring no sorrow. Oh God, oh God, oh God, if you're calling it a blessing, but there's sorrow attached to it, it probably ain't God. Oh God, we love you this morning. I thank you for your promise. Oh God, for your purpose and the assignments that you put on our life. Oh God, oh God, oh God. It doesn't mean that the promise won't come without a little bit of struggle. Oh God, let someone know, let someone know the struggle is strengthening their faith. The struggle is making them confirm in their faith. Oh God, but there's an inward peace. There's an inward peace because there's an inward knowing that we know that we know that we know that you promised. That we know that we know that we know that you said it. Hallelujah, God. Thank you this morning. Thank you this morning for parents who are praying for their sons and praying for their daughters. Thank you this morning, oh God, that they're crying out, oh God, for their salvation. Oh God, we thank you for the salvation of the cross. But there's a saving power, a delivering power. Hallelujah a setting free power, a yoke breaking power, a deliverance power this morning, God, that some parent needs for their child this morning. Glory to your name, O oh God. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God this morning. He is worthy to be praised this morning. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I cover marriages this morning. You gave us a promise, O oh God. The two shall become one, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Let stubborn wives and stubborn husbands, God, lay down their pride this morning so that they can become one and raise their children. <coughs> In the fear and the admiration of you, oh God, admiring you, ha, huh? looking up to you, hallelujah, seeing your glory, seeing your love, seeing your blessings, seeing your truth, seeing your peace, seeing all the opportunities that come from serving a living God. Oh God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord, our God. We thank you this morning that we can call on our father who is our Abba Daddy. Thank you for being my daddy this morning, God. Thank you for being my daddy this morning, God. Thank you for being daddy, God. Hallelujah, God. So many people don't know a daddy. Hey, they might not even know their earthly father. They don't even know their earthly father as father, God, but you you are our father. Ha! Huh? You are our God and you are our daddy. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for a safe lap. Thank you for a safe touch. Thank you for a safe hug. Thank you for a safe word. Thank you for being Daddy this morning. Thank you. Thank you for fathers who know how to be daddies, who know how to still love on their children. Oh, God, they're, they're not so hard and they're not so grown and the cares of life haven't beat them up so much that they don't know how to love on their son and love on their daughter and, and declare their children's greatness. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God. 
Hey, cause if they don't if they don't declare it, the world will. They'll tell them they ain't nothing. They'll tell them you're gonna be just like every other teenager. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. But we call every child under the sphere of my voice, under the influence and the reach and the power of my voice. I call them great. Jerry, Gerard, and Joshua and Karen, oh God. Simone and Sarah and Sophia and Sydney and Shannon, oh God. Harper in the name of Jesus, I call him great. Uh, Chanel and Brittany and Shireen and Shannon and Jerome and Christina. Malcolm, his fiance, the baby in the womb, we call him great. We call him great this morning. Hallelujah. We call him purposed. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God. There is a promise on the lives of our children. There is a promise on the lives of our children. Thank you, God, for the fruit of the womb and the inheritance of the earth, oh God. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. We thank you, oh God. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. He is worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. And I love you today, God. I thank you. I thank you for the answered prayers. I thank you for the supernatural move of God. I thank you for your miracles. I speak to that migraine this morning. I speak to that migraine this morning. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. There is no fear that the migraine will turn into a stroke all of a sudden. Oh, God, we thank you. We rebuke strokes this morning. The blood of Jesus. No brain attacks, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for God. Thank you for beautiful minds. Hallelujah, oh God. We come against dementia in all time as this morning. Glory to the Lamb of God. We call our minds beautiful. Our parents' minds beautiful. Our grandparents' minds beautiful. Glory to God. Great memories, sharp memories. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Reverse that thing. Reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Hallelujah, reverse it. Hallelujah, regenerate cells. Hallelujah, you are the regenerator. We have been regened by you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. That is our sanctification promise. We are regened by you. Glory to God. We are saved this morning. We are saved. Hallelujah. Everything that came through the bloodline of our parents. Hallelujah. Through the blood of our fathers. Hallelujah. Through the womb of our mothers that wasn't like you. Regine. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. We are like your daddy. Hallelujah. Regine this morning. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. Regine us this morning, O oh God. Take Take away guilt. Take away shame. Take away doubt. Take away unbelief. Oh God, help us, help us, help us this morning. What an anointed word. Help God. Help God. Help God. Help us, Jesus. Move by your spirit this morning. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Hey, come on, Saba, Roshama, Roshame, Kennedy, Rosaba. Break it up, oh God. Break it up, oh God. Break up guilt. Break up shame. Break it up, oh God. We gonna cast fear out. Hallelujah, oh God. We cast fear out this morning. For greater is he that is within us than anything that is in this world. We cast out fear this morning. Oh, let the perfect love of God cast out fear this morning. We thank you, oh God. Your love. Your love. Pour out your love. Cast out fear. Pour out your love. Cast out fear. Hallelujah, oh God. Pour out your love, oh God. Cast out fear. Glory to God. Pour out your love, Daddy. And cast out fear. Glory to God. Kiss somebody this morning. God, kiss them. Kiss them. Kiss them. Mwah. Kiss them, Lord. Kiss them, Lord. Hug them, Lord. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I don't know if you know what it's like to be hugged from the inside by Jesus. My God, my Holy Spirit. Hug somebody this morning, Lord. 
Breathe life into them, Lord, so that they can hold on, God, so that they can hold on. I come against the spirit of suicide. I come against the spirit. Pharmacida. Pharmaceutical. Oh, God, anything that is being used to pacify emotions, to suppress emotions and feelings. We come against it this morning. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, you will live and you will not die. You will declare the glory of the Lord. High in the land of the living. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, you will see the hand of God. Move on your behalf. It ain't that bad. It's not, it's not, it's not. I know that you think it is, but it's not. It's not. Don't take a permanent solution to solve a temporary hurt, a temporary problem, and God will fix it. He'll fix it for you, beloved. He'll fix it, son. He'll fix it, daughter. Yes, he will. 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 He'll heal your heart. He'll heal your heart. Ah, he'll redeem you from the curse. Ha, ha, da 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 Hey, say I want a different family blessing. I want a family blessing and no longer the family curse. We we lay it down. We rebuke the family generational lines, the bloodline that brought anger, the bloodline that brought divorce. We separate ourselves from it. The bloodline that brought bitterness and unforgiveness and the hey, come on, shot all the single women in your family. We we sever that. How you? We've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. 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 For this cause, a man will leave his mother and his father. Hallelujah. And be bound and be, be connected to his wife. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, for this cause. For the cause of advancing the family. For the cause of advancing the kingdom. For the cause, for the cause, for the cause. We separate God. Bloodlines. Hallelujah. We separate bloodlines that bring guilt and bring shame this morning. Hallelujah. We separate bloodlines, oh God. We call forth our generational blessing. We call forth our generational blessing. We call forth our... Gen hey, God. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because Jesus, Jesus is our, Jesus, we are, we are part of the family of God. Hallelujah. We are, we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. So we call forth our generational blessing. Hallelujah. We call forth our kingdom blessing. We call forth our relationship blessing because we are in relationship with God through Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and add no sorrow. We thank you, oh God, for your blessings this morning. Hallelujah. We have a promise. We have a promise. You have a promise from the Lord this morning. You have a promise. We have a promise. Thank you for your promise, Lord. Bless your name, Daddy. Ha! Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God this morning. Ah, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Because there's nobody like you, Lord. We sing it all. Glory to God. You are a healer, Lord. You are a redeemer and you are a restorer. You are a repairer of the breach. Everything in our lives that has been breached. Everything in our lives that, ah, Jesus. Everything that came in backwards. Everything that came in backwards. Everything that came in out of order. Oh, you are the repairer of that. Even some of us came into this world backwards. Oh God, some of us came into this world behind the eight ball because of the situations of our father or the situations of our mother. Oh God, or grandparents, oh God. Oh God, but you are the restorer of the breach. You are the restorer of the thing that snuck in. Oh God, the thing that snuck in. Hallelujah. <coughs> Bitterness that stuck in. <coughs> Unforgiveness that stuck in. Whatever snuck in, oh God, the little foxes, 
that snuck in and, and ate up our finances and came at our faith and came at what we believe and ate at our marriages and ate at our Shaba, the restorer of the breach in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The restorer of the breach that has infiltrated our children's mind, our teenagers and our young people's mind to tell them that God ain't real. You don't need Jesus. Restore the breach. Restore the breach. Restore parents who have thrown up their hands. Restore the breach. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for parents who know how to be stern, who know how to say, I'm going to give you to God. And so my hands are lifted, praising God, because God got you. My hands aren't lifted because I've turned you over to the world. Oh, God, sometimes God has to spank us. Sometimes God has to tap us. Hiya. Our children and us, oh God, so that we will obey. And when our obedience becomes complete, we can speak to disobedience. So God, we thank you. We thank you for the promise this morning. We thank you for the promises of God. Ha! Huh? They are still yes. Ha! Huh? And they are still amen. To the glory of God. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Somebody needs to know they have a promise from the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Isn't that what the song said? We have a promise from the Lord. It is only that you look and that you live. Glory to God this morning. Oh, God, I bless your name. Oh, you're good this morning. You're good this morning. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're all the way lovely good. Hallelujah. You're all the way perfect good. You're good. You're good. You're good. He's just good. He's just good. Woo, Jesus, you're just good this morning. You're glorious and you're awesome and you're good. You're mighty and you're perfect and you're good this morning. You're good. You're going to answer somebody this morning. You're going to come to the need and the aid of somebody this morning. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the, he's a good God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Tell him he's good. The way you praise him is with your thumbs up and your smiley faces. Hallelujah. Your hands are prayer. Your hands clapping. Hallelujah. He's a good, good God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Yes, we give him the highest praise this morning. Share, tag someone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We just go get right in from prayer into the word. Ain't nothing like talking to daddy God. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing like talking to daddy God. Hallelujah. Whoever that is that that uh glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. That um has the headaches. Whoever that was. Glory to God. Uh migraines and headaches. I need you to tell me. Hallelujah. That uh, that is, you're good, you're good. The headache has subsided in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I don't necessarily know if there was somebody on this this uh, prayer time, glory to God, that um, they, they themselves are suicidal, but you have someone in your family. You have someone very close to you that is battling depression. And I know we're saying in that half the world, but there's somebody very specific, that uh, if they could, they would. And really the only thing that's stopping them, hallelujah, is, is your prayers and the prayers of others. Hallelujah. And they fear God. <laughs> so we, we pray. Huh? We pray. We pray. As we already have an agreement into that suicidal spirit. And we say you will live. And you will not die. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. Blessed be the name of of the Lord our God, who has given us strong promises. Glory to God. Well, we love the Lord this morning. I tell you, I tell you, I love Jesus. Ah, I worship you. I worship you. Ah! Somebody needs to hear this real quick, y'all. I'm going to get to the word. But I love God so much. All that he could have did. All that he should have did. All that I was worthy of being punished for. He is so good to us. He is so good to us. 
He is so good to us. He is so good to us. Glory to God. He is so good to his people. He's so good to his children. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He is so good. He is so good. God, we stand in the gap for our families, Lord. We stand in the gap for our loved ones, God. We stand in the gap for our city, God. Mindy. Mend somebody's heart who's lost a father, a mother, a child, God. Mend their hearts, God. A spouse, God. Bless you, Jesus. We love you today, God. Mend the hearts of your people, Lord. You gave us a promise that you draw close to the brokenhearted. You draw close to the brokenhearted. You draw close to the brokenhearted. Broken broken Thank you, Jesus. Draw close this morning, God. Glory to the Lamb. Ha! Ah. Woo! Ah! Oh, lost jobs, lost marriages, lost children, lost spouses. Be the way maker this morning. Your way is perfect. Your word and your promises are not burdensome. Bring somebody's joy back this morning, God. Ha! That's who you are. Ha! Jesus. Hey! Come on! Heal this morning, Daddy. Woo! You're good, God. There's a promise. There's a promise. That is who you are, God. That is who you are. That is who you are. Promise keeper, way maker, deliverer, healer, restorer. Huh? Hey, Let your grace and your mercy cover your people this morning, your sons, your daughters. Thank you that you are not a respectable person. You don't care about denominations. You ain't studying no race, black, white, Latino, ha, Indian, ha, yada, yada, bosaya. None of that matters to you, God. You are God. You are God. You are God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ha, male, female, none of that, none of that. Age, old, young, God. You're still the same God. Ha. Huh. Thank you, God, for healing your people today. Ah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your promises, God. Thank you for your promises. They are still yes and amen to the glory of God. Ha, huh? our King, our God, our Redeemer, and our Lord this morning. Bless your name this morning. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness. That's who he is. He'll make a way for you out of no way. Oh God. The government has something called eminent domain. That means that they can come straight through your neighborhood. And bulldoze down your house. To put in a street. To put in a, a fairway or a freeway. Because they have eminent domain. But I'm telling you this morning. God has eminent domain. Hallelujah. He's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He is the light in your darkness. That's who he is. That's who he is. That's who he is. That's what he does because that's who he is. That's what he does. Glory to God. What do you need him to make a way for? What do you need him to make a way for? He'll make a way. He'll make a path through that thing. Hallelujah. He makes a path through the desert. He brings water in the desert. Come on, y'all. That's who the God is that we serve. Oh, God, he put palm trees in the desert for the children of Israel. 
so they could have shade. He put, he put a stream in the desert. He's a refresher. He'll do it. My God, that is who you are. Oh, God, I need to get to this word, but God is good, y'all. Daddy, God is good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's sure enough good. Hallelujah. Glory. My God. Hey, God. Glory. Woo. Jesus, come on. Bring me back, God. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are welcome here. Show forth your glory. Ah, God, you're glorious. Woo! Everybody take a deep breath. God is good. Waymaker, miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He's a light in the darkness. That is who he is. And he wants to be your lover this morning, the lover of your soul. Ah, he's the report, restorer of the breach. Yes, he is. So, 2 Corinthians chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. The word of the Lord says, well, Paul is talking uh, to the people of Corinth and he says, we do not want you to be uninformed brothers and sisters about the trouble that he's experiencing in Asia Minor. How we were Weighed down. Anybody been weighed down? How we were weighed down and, and we, we lost our strength. Anybody ever lost their strength? You don't, you don't know what to pray for. You don't know how to pray. You, you like praying ain't working. Tell the truth. We all didn't said it. What, what is the purpose of this? It's the strength of God this morning. Because there is no strength like the Lord. Ha! Breathe into somebody this morning, God. And he said we weren't despaired. We had great despair, Paul said. He said, and we felt we were convinced that we were going to die. Now, last week, God allowed us to talk about you got to be fully convinced that he who promised will do. He will perform. So you must be convinced, convinced that he who began a good work in you has promised to complete it. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Second Corinthians chapter 1. He said, we felt like. We should give up. We were sentenced to death. This is what Paul is saying. He said, but, but God's promises, God's promises this morning. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Give me one second. Glory to God. He's your strength this morning. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so Paul is talking to us this morning about remembering the blessings of the Lord over our lives this morning. So many times we just forget. Ha! We forget that God has promised to do a thing. He has promised to restore your life. He has promised to move on the things that he has spoken of in your life. And you cannot walk away from God. You can't walk away from him. You, you can't. What, what you doing walking away from God? What you talking about? I didn't wait it long enough. But you were waiting in line for a concert. Yeah, I said it. You will wait in line for a concert. You will wait in line for uh, uh, at the grocery store, but you can't wait on God because you feel like God is taking too long. Oh, the devil is a lie. So he goes on in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, and, and he's talking about they wanted to give up. They had lost their breath. They had lost hope. He said, he says in, in verse 17, are you going to accuse me of being flip, being flippant about the promises of God? I think I want to go up to uh, verse uh, 15. Start, that was verse 17. And I'm reading from the Amplified this morning. He said, uh, he says, um, 
He says, we, we could have, uh, we could have just uh, went on back to Judah. We could have went on back to Judah, but God told us to stay. He says, so are you trying to say that I'm flippant about the promises of God? No, I ain't flippant. I'm serious. I'm convinced of the promises of God. He said, because I didn't work, I didn't work this hard for nothing. I love the Amplified. I didn't work this hard for nothing. Don't y'all feel like that? He said, but your, your word, God will not forget your labor of love. This is his promise. He will not forget your labor of love. So don't feel like I've, I've been doing all this for nothing. Listen, I didn't say it. I said it. Can I just be transparent with y'all this morning? The journey of waiting on uh, the, 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 the godly man who loves Jesus, God Almighty, and waiting on God right. I said it. I'm like, God, now, listen, I've been trying to do this thing right. I mean, I ain't been perfect, but I've been trying to do this right. What's up, Lord? In in the book that we're, we're writing now, The Mornings After, M-O-U-R-I-N-G-S, From Grief to Glory, I had to have a talk with God, beloved. I had to have a talk. I said, now, God, I waited. I didn't go out here and 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 get pregnant and have children outside of marriage. Ain't ain't tripping on nobody that it happened like that. Children are through the womb, blessings of the earth, and we we love God that God has blessed you. But but I had to have a talk with God. Now look, I ain't been out here doing all that, and now I didn't turn fifty and hot flashes that overtook my life, which means I am in menopause. Good God, which unless you gonna do an Elizabeth thing. And I don't know if I necessarily want that or a Sarah thing, but I had to resolve that. I had to resolve that, that God gave me a promise. So if the promise is adoption, if the promise is through my husband's children and their grand and, and the children that will come from them as grandchildren, I stand on the promise of God that I will hear the pitter patter of little feet. I stand on the prophetic word and the promise of God. Some of y'all don't don't fake it. Y'all just said, God, what's up? I didn't wait it. And I've been trying to do it the right way. Where you at? <laughs> Where you at, Lord? But the promises of God are still yes and amen to the glory of God. So Paul goes on and he says, listen. He said, he said, uh, don't, you know, he said, I'm not going to be glib about this. He said, you're wrong. I'm not glib. He said, I'm convinced. He said, our word to you was never careless. So we have to be careful about the words that we speak to people. Don't be careless. Don't tell God people that, okay, I'm going to give you one. All things work together for good. You can't say that to everybody. So don't be, don't be flippant about the word of God and just throw out scriptures to people. Oh, there's too many scriptures that really can apply to their life. There are too many scriptures that really can apply to their life. So don't just give them one just to give them one. Give them something that can stick to their bones, that can stir up their spirit, that can help them to move on so all things don't work together for good for everybody. You got to keep reading. For those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. You don't love them, it ain't going to, I'm sorry, I'm here to help. Ah, yes I am. You don't love them, it ain't going to come together. It ain't going to, it's not going to work together for your good. And... They are called according to his purpose. Now, the beauty of God, this is so good. The love of God, the grace of God is that, Lord, forgive me. That wasn't your purpose for me. That wasn't your purpose for me. You didn't tell me to do that. I did that. But, Lord, I love you. I love you. Forgive me for the, I turned away from you and did something my way. God, forgive me. Let this thing work together for my good. You back. Ah, you back. That's all he wants. That's all he wants is a heart of repentance for somebody who said, I was flippant with your word. I, I was a little, I was a little glib, like, eh, it don't matter. I can apply this. I can apply that. I can take this out. I can take, no, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. It ain't bingo. Good God almighty. It ain't no crawl. It ain't, it ain't, you know, matching up. No, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta apply God's word rightly. The Bible says rightly divided. Good God Almighty. You got to apply it rightly. You got to stay in the context of what God was talking about so that you know the content and the context. So you don't get to just pull scripture out. He said, don't, don't be glib. He said, and we weren't careless. 
We weren't careless about the words that we spoke. He said, we, we had no indifference about the word that we spoke today. We believe the word tomorrow we don't. No, you got to stand on the word of God. You got to stay in the word of God. The word is Jesus. When we put down the word, we put down Jesus. Do we not know that? In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. The word became flesh and dwelled among us. The word is Jesus. So when we put down the word, and we push the word of God aside. We are pushing aside Jesus. I know that helps somebody this morning. That's why it ain't working. You calling on his name, but you ain't never speaking his word. You speaking his word, but you don't never call his name. I tell people all the time, all you need is the name of Jesus, the word of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus. You good. You good. You got it. You can stand against any work of the enemy. The name, the blood, the word. Ha! That's all you need. Good God Almighty. That's all you need. So you got these promises in, in 2 Corinthians verse 2, verse chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. He said, he said, wasn't I clear? Ha! I love to amplify. Paul said, wasn't I clear? Didn't I come with a strong yes? I came with a strong yes. That this is what God said. The strong name of Jesus. Yes. Is in Jesus. Hear me. Follow me. The strong name of Jesus. Paul said didn't I come with a strong yes. The strong name of Jesus. You got to be convinced of this thing. You got to be convinced of not only your. your um, how do you want me to say it Holy Spirit. You got to be convinced of not only your yes that came by the cross. You got to be convinced. You not only be convinced of the salvation that came by the cross. You got to be convinced of the salvation that God will deliver you. God will set you free. Matter of fact, he already has. God will answer you. God will come and defend you. He, he will fight your battles. You got to be convinced of these things. He said, whatever God has promised, verse 20, whatever God has promised gets a stamp of yes from Jesus. Listen, whatever God has promised over your life gets a stamp. Now, where is my stamp? My business stamp. Good God Almighty, it's up there. I can't get to it. It's a stamp. Whatever God, whatever God has promised gets a stamp. Of yes from Jesus. What has God promised you? We can, I mean, there are all kind of books talking about the promises of God. You might want to get one so you can know what they are. And you can declare them over your life every day. I said about 20 of them already this morning. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow. Hallelujah. Above all, I wish that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Hallelujah, oh God. Healing is the children's bread. Hallelujah. He loads you up with benefits. Hallelujah. He forgives your sins. He heals your body. Hallelujah. The promises of God are yes and amen. There is a stamp that comes from Jesus when God has given you a promise. Oh God. What we used to say is Trump tight. It's Trump tight. Not the one in that. No, not the one in D.C. We ain't talking about him. He about to be tied up for real. Y'all better hear me. Okay, whatever God has promised gets a stamp from with yes of Jesus. It's a stamp of yes of Jesus. Now, what blessed me is that he says it's a stamp. Why isn't the message Bible coming up? You going don't you play with me this morning? Oh, okay. There we go. Huh. So, uh, it's a stamp of yes from Jesus. There we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, he says, you get this stamp. You get this stamp. He says, and whatever God has promised, he said, in him, this is what we preach and pray with a great amen. This is what we preach and pray with a great amen. And actually, that, that one was actually the Message Bible. It says, you get a stamp with yes. Yes is on the stamp of Jesus. So Jesus is stamping the promises of God. Jesus is stamping the promises of God. 
You praying for something? This is why the Bible says that when we pray, Jesus is in heaven interceding on our behalf. The Holy Spirit, particularly when we pray in our heavenly language, it goes up. Jesus interprets it, pulls out all the mess. You Well, your words, he pulls out all the mess. Because the Holy Spirit prays, uh, intercedes for us with groans and others as we do not understand. And so what we need is in that prayer. And Jesus stamps it with a yes. He looks at God. Is that, is that really, is that what she needs? Yep, it's yes. And it's coming. It may be held up. But it's coming. He says, he goes on to say, in him, in Jesus, this is what we preach and pray. A great amen. Hallelujah. A sure amen. Hallelujah. Making us sure of the things that are in Christ, putting his yes within us. It's, when, it's, it's what I said. It's when you know that you know that you know. God told me to do that. God said to do that. The reason I started, I actually... Um, Po was getting, well, I did, I posted this last week and only shared it to myself. That that's what I was going to talk about last week. But God said, first I need them to be convinced. And then I'm going to talk, talk to them about the promise that they need to be convinced of. Every promise that God has spoken to your life. I was sitting on the side of my bed and I was like, Lord, you didn't told me to do this on April the 7th. I, I, I I've done many things. I've done a women's conference. I've done, I do trainings all the time. I, I do all types of events, business conference. I've done it. I've done it. But it's such, I, I, I can't even describe it, beloved. The peace that is, I know that I know that I know God has told me to do this men's conference on April 7th. It's often the thing that you like, me? Why are you going to have me do that? But then he'll give you a peace that comes by the Holy Spirit. Somebody needs peace this morning. Somebody needs peace this morning. You need that yes to connect with your Holy Spirit this morning. And part of the reason it hasn't connected is because you're using the name, but you're not using the word. You're using the word and you're not using the name. Good God Almighty. And if something is coming against your promise, you put the blood on it. The blood of Jesus is against you, devil. In all your works, you will not take my promise. You will not take my child. You will not take my marriage. The blood of Jesus is against you. You will not take my hope. You will not take it. You will not take it. You will not take it. You will not take my mind. You will not take my health. The blood of Jesus is against you because I have the mind of Christ. Healing is the children's bread. Then you put the word on it. You tell the devil he's a liar and you put the word on. Don't take up too much time with the devil. We, he don't know. You ain't got to be taking up too much time with him. He already know he's a defeated foe. Good God Almighty. The Amplified says it this way. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, was preached among you and by us. He said, it was not yes. He said, was it not? Yes and no. But has it been proven? Yes in him. So, yeah, there's a yes and there's a no. Some, some things he needs to say no to. What you deem it as rejection is really God's protection. What you think is God's rejection because he told you no is really his protection. So the word that we preach is yes and no. He said, however, it has been proven to be yes in him. Whatever is in Christ, whatever is in God is always yes. There is no no when he says it. There is, there is, a listen, I need you to follow me. We preach yes and we preach no because that's the reality of life. But when God has promised you something, it is always yes. When God has promised you something, it is always yes, because he's faithful. He says he's faithful and he's true and his yes is divine. And his yes is always affirming God's yes. Listen to me. Let me tell y'all something. Any yes, Lord the top, any yes that's in this word. Any promise that is in this word that is from God, and since all of it is from God, it is yes for you. 
if it ain't in here, let me let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I had a woman ask me to pray for her. I think I've told this story several times. I had a woman that asked me to pray for her husband. Okay. Holy Spirit said, ask some questions. So, are you and your husband still together? No. Y'all separated? Well, what? You separated or not? You together or not? Well, we're divorced. Why can't... What do you mean? Okay, you're divorced. Okay, so you're desiring to get back with your husband? Because, see, you got to ask questions. As an intercessor, people going to come to you. People going to come to you and ask you to pray for things. But you sometimes you need to ask questions. You can't be coming in agreement with stuff, put a yes on it. I said, okay, y'all divorced? Okay. May I ask you a question? Yeah. Is, is he remarried? Has he remarried? Yes. Well, I can't pray for your husband. I can't, I can't pray for your husband because your ex-husband is now somebody else's husband. So that's a no. Okay, let me let me take there's a glare in my class. That that's a no, boo. That's a no. I can't I can't come in agreement with you on that. There there's there's a yes to marriage, but there's a no to praying over somebody else's husband. Even though he used to be your husband. I'm not going to come in agreement with that. No. No. Not what I will come in agreement with is God will give you peace. And God's will be done. That's what I will come in agreement with. That's that's where the yes is. <laughs> Good God Almighty, you gotta ask questions. You gotta, you gotta ask questions. And let me help you with something, intercessors. When people won't give you the, well, it's private. This is my prayer. God's will be done. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I can't pray nothing else. I can pray for your peace. I can pray that God gives you an answer. I can pray that God answers. I can pray that His will be done. But when you're asking me and you won't t you asking me to pray and you won't tell me what, what we're praying about, I can't, I can't there's no yes in that. The only yes is that God's will be done, the peace of the God comes, and whatever you need, he'll answer. Good God Almighty. I just helped somebody. He goes on to say, he says this, I'm reading, I read in message, now I'm reading it amplified, and we're gonna wrap this up. Now it is God who establishes and confirms us in joint fellowship. With Jesus. Good God Almighty. That's good. Who joins us in joint fellowship because we are in Christ and has anointed us, empowering us through his spirit. It is he who has put the seal on us. That seal is the Holy Spirit. He has certified us as his own. And because we are his own, his promises to you are yes. Go find out the promises of God, beloved. Go find them out and let them connect like, like a good meal, like potato, steak and potatoes. Let it connect, not, not Chinese food, even though I love it. That, that food, you, you're going to be hungry in an hour. You need something, you need a word that's going to stick to you. There's a yes in God. Yes, you will be married. Yes, you will have children. Yes, you will be debt free. Yes, you will have supernatural debt cancellation. Yes, I will heal your body. Yes, I will because I told you to owe no man nothing but love. You bring in your tithes and your offerings into the storehouse. He's promised to rebuke the devourer, to stop having your seed eaten up. The devourer that's coming into your home, that's messing with your marriage. Your tithe will save your marriage. Your tithe will save your kids. Yes, it will. Your tithe will save your home. Yes, it will. Yes, it will, because he rebukes the devourer. That's a promise. That's a promise. And he loves you too much. Hallelujah. He loves you too much. To just let it, let it, let it flounder. Don't, don't be flippant about this thing. He says, he has given us the Holy Spirit in our hearts as a pledge. He's given us the Holy Spirit. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. That right there. He's given us the Holy Spirit as a pledge. As a security deposit. Guaranteeing us the fulfillment of every promise unto eternal life. Have the seal of the Holy Spirit. This is why I don't know how people do this thing without Jesus. How do people do this thing? Many of them do it because you're praying for them. Because we're praying for our family and our friends. Yeah, he's given us the Holy Spirit as a seal of approval until eternal life. God, we thank you. 
We thank you for your promises this morning. We preach yes and no, but every promise in God is yes. Through the power of God, because of our relationship with Jesus Christ. We thank you for the yes in our spirit this morning. They will get that promotion. They will get that job. Yes, they will. Hallelujah. Thank you for the natural order of things. But thank you for the supernatural interference and bombarding from heaven. We thank you this morning. We love you, Daddy. You are worthy to be praised. Worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. I love you, beloved. Thank you so much for spending this time with us where the word is activated, imparted, and released. We thank you. I pray that someone receives something this morning to encourage them at another level for the purpose and the plan that God has for your life. I hope to see the men on April the 7th. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to keep pumping it because I'm looking for 200 strong to be in that sanctuary. 6321 La Paz Trail, West Side Church, where Michael Bryant is the pastor and has allowed us to host a conference there. Robert and Raymond and all of the other men uh, who have logged on this morning, Cincinnati Connection, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, all um, Benton Harbor, Indianapolis. If you within three to five hours, you need to get here on April the 7th. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. I'm, I'm convinced. I'm so convinced that it brings tears to my eyes. I'm so convinced of what God is going to do for men. For men, not just church men, but men. Grab your brother that ain't saved. Grab your brother who then gave up on God. Grab your brother who ain't been to church in a year, five years, and tell him to come. It's held in a church, but you got real men that's going to speak into your life. That's going to tell you the real about how they did it and how they're yet doing it. Amen. Send them for Florida. Amen. Send them for Florida. Put them on the plane. I keep saying, amen. We can go, y'all can go to Dallas to the to the most awesome um, conference for men, 50, 80,000 strong. But God is doing a little, some, Terrence, I believe, early on in the thread, he says God is up to something. He is. God is up to something, y'all. He's up to something. And then at 2 o'clock on April the 7th, women are welcome for a private uh, time of prayer and ministry. And then we will go into the reconciliation restoration ceremony. But men and women need to register, and I'll put the link uh, here. You can go to my page, and you'll see the link anywhere that you see the flyer. I love God. We give him a hallelujah. I pray you have a blessed Tuesday.